Google dropped the project moniker in front of Project Tango back in June of this year uh, to signal that it was finally out of beta and that this new AR hardware focused program was ready for the mainstream. Two consumer devices were launched, including the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro and the Asus Zenfone AR. These devices have some extra hardware to help them sense where you are in the world, as well as where other items are. Super important in AR applications, obviously. These include a barometer for elevation, dedicated motion tracking camera, dedicated infrared depth sensing camera, a high megapixel traditional camera to help it with viewing objects, etc. And all in all, sounds like a great recipe for AR apps, right? Well, just weeks after the Zenfone AR was released, Google did something odd. They announced AR Core which is their software only AR program, uh, which will work essentially on any Android phone as opposed to Tango, which requires specific hardware in specific devices. So now doesn't that kind of kill Tango? Like why would you go out and buy a specialized phone to do AR when Google just released something that's gonna make AR be able to work on your current Android phone? To answer that, first we need to talk about why Google launched AR Core. And it comes down to developers and scale. People are all excited about AR. It's new, it's cool to see, it has a lot more real world uses than VR frankly, but the amount of apps for it out there is still super limited. The reason being that Tango's inherent issue is the fact that there are only two consumer devices out and the total market share by device rounded up to the nearest hundredth is 0.00%. Now let's combine that with the fact that Apple just weeks before AR Core was announced, announced AR Kit, the same concept of bringing AR capabilities to iOS devices, and it's pretty clear what both companies are trying to do and why Google didn't have much choice. Give developers hundreds of millions and even billions of potential devices already out in the wild that could run their AR apps. Yeah, that many devices that, you know, if you're trying to make money from your AR app, that just sounds better, right? Now the real question comes down to, which one would you choose? Now, technically you probably won't have a choice not too long from now. I imagine that Google will probably just start taking some of the bits and pieces from Tango and putting them into Android phones um, without really telling you that they're there or promoting too much that they're there. Kind of like what they're doing with Daydream. Like they'll just be in there and they'll have a certification and you won't really, you're gonna buy one regardless. Um, but that's just my thought. But for the sake of the fact that both of these are actually out right now and you could kinda go different routes, like maybe buy a Tango phone, why would you? Well, the big thing that sets Tango apart from AR Core is accuracy and speed. Tango with its infrared camera and other depth sensing tech is much better at putting objects in space and then keeping them there, even if you leave the room and come back. It uses the actual 3D map data it's gathered instead of simply noticing planes in a video feed and tracking those like AR Core does and AR Kit for that matter. AR Core and AR Kit again work just fine when used on a table, for example, and decent in more complicated things. But let's say you wanted to accurately measure an entire room, a building, whatever, with curves, ridges, peaks, etc. Tango will always win. So really, the bigger thing for Tango, I think right now, is more B2B stuff. So for example, if you're a giant company and you have all these factories and crazy factory floors that people need to navigate, it might behoove you to actually go buy like an Asus Zenfone uh, AR, a bunch of them, and then actually develop your own customized app for that to help people navigate those factories or find specific items or do any of that stuff uh, if you could justify the price of all that um, because it's just gonna be more accurate. It's just gonna work better. Um, a lot better than say AR Kit or AR Core will. But if you're a consumer, and you're just trying to play tabletop games and measure a dresser or any of that kind of stuff, it doesn't quite make sense for you to go out and buy a device, particularly for Tango, when you're gonna get pretty much the same performance, close at least for those type of things, on the phone that you already have soon enough. A lot of things in Project Tango have been instrumental in helping to make AR Core better. And it has, after all, been around since 2014 and has been done in conjunction with a crap ton of developers and developing companies. My big question through all this though, uh, is did Google know they were gonna kill Tango? Like has Tango always just been an experiment and AR Core was really the goal? Or is this something they kind of 
realize they needed to do after the fact? And did they ever tell Asus any of this when they signed on to make the Zenfone AR? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if you like this video though, please thumbs up it, share it, subscribe. All that fun stuff is greatly appreciated. And if anything else, regardless, thanks for watching.